is a bird who sings a song of a lost kingdom amongst the trees that echo as drains. Hi everybody, this is Jake here with Shalom Home. We've got the whole family in front of the camera today. You're seeing me. You got Lydia here, who's usually the uh, star of the show. And then you got my wife, Natalia. She's the one that's usually running the camera. Hey guys, welcome to our bus. We are so excited uh, to show off the bus, and we've actually been doing something really special on the bus. What have we been doing, Lydia? Uh, Sukkot. We've been celebrating Sukkot on the bus. So we've been sleeping on the bus for several nights now, um, and it's just been so fun to know, to feel, and know uh, what it's going to be like in the future when we actually do live on the bus. And so we're basically taking it for a test run, basically. Yeah, yeah, and the bus is definitely not done, but there has been a lot that has been done. Jacob's been working really hard all summer, yeah. um, and so it's just exciting to be able just to sit here and feel the flow of the the layout and how it's actually going to be once we do live in it. There's a, a lot of um, stuff that needs to be done this winter that Jacob's going to be doing. Like the floors is the main one, our main goal for the winter. Uh, but yeah, we're just excited to give you a little tour. Yeah, so uh, uh, take a look at what we have to show you and uh, leave comments in the in below the or video. questions, any questions yeah, you have. Yeah, anything that you guys want us to show you more of or go into more depth on. It's going to probably be a longer video than usual, so um, hope you enjoy. We're going to start our tour here at the front like we usually do. Uh, if you look over here to my right, you'll see a couch that we we bought. Originally, we were gonna. I was uh, welding up a bench to go here, but we decided to go with something a little bit more comfy and something that looks a little more finished. Uh, a lot of times, you see on tiny home tours these uh, IKEA style fold up mattresses, and they convert into all sorts of things, and then you get all this storage under there. We're going a little, little bit different route. Um, we've actually decided to get something that we'll be able to slide um, box type bins underneath. Uh, we've got these really nice looking uh, fabric covered boxes that have tops on them. It allow us to put all, uh, store all like things together and kind of compartmentalize some of that and be able to pull it out if we need to like for instance pull it out, bring it outside, we can do that. But one of the nice things is, is that um, while we're sitting here, we can actually pull these uh, bins outside out and actually put our feet on top of them so we can actually use them as footrests. Kind of a, a nice little um, function of that. Um, another thing uh, about this couch in particular is it's largely just a, a sprung uh, frame right here on this portion, which actually means that all of this is hollow in here. That'll allow us to uh, unzip and probably store up some some like winter jackets and stuff like that in this area. Something we won't need to get up, get to and that'll be able to be compressed a bit. But um, that's another thing where, you know, kind of hidden storage. Um, if we look over to this side, we've got um, just our table set up right now. Uh, I'm planning on making a custom table that will go between two sets of chairs that um, they're actually bus seats. Uh, we tried doing the whole painting thing. Unfortunately, we didn't realize that when we were doing the whole painting thing that the fabric on the actual seats themselves was probably some sort of stain repellent, water repellent. So live and learn. And so that didn't really end up, the painting ended up sinking in and dying the fabric like we were hoping to. So we're probably going to have to just go ahead and get them reupholstered so that they look all nice and kind of fit, fit what we're designing up in here. So if you want to come over this way, we'll go from living area, dining area, into more of our kitchen area. This is our full-size refrigerator. We got this about a year ago. Up until just like earlier this week, this thing has been covered in this plastic cushioned thing while we got everything spray foamed in here and we're doing a whole bunch of stuff and just to protect it from us like banging into it and denting it. So it's actually kind of nice. It's it's uh you can open both both sides like this, which is nice so that you're not opening this gigantic door and swinging that into your space. It's you know allows you to get 
access to little items uh, pretty easily uh, and also just you'll be able to have this open beginning stuff somebody will be able to hopefully walk right by, behind you so it gives us a little bit of nice flow um, this opens up here your bottom freezer, which will be good for us because um, actually you probably guys don't know this um, I do a lot like to hunt um, like both elk and deer so we'll be probably having a lot of uh, meat stored up in there um, while we're traveling around so if you come back this way you can see some of our more recent handiwork that I'm pretty excited about uh, these are the counters I've been working on and we went with uh, a, uh, a big slab here this is just a uh, a slab that's uh, about two and a half inches thick. Uh, we originally wanted to go with a one and a half inch thick, but um, what they had on hand in an already plain format uh, for me to just take and and uh, sand down uh, was just this two and a half inch stuff. So this is, I believe, red oak. Um, and I went ahead and cut out the area for the sink and for the faucet right here. This is one of those, um, commercial style uh, faucets where you'll be you can you know spray your dishes you got this huge large basin right here um, to you know if we need to like bathe kids or, or whatnot um, one of the nice features about this is that it's got a on off you know temperature change right here but it also has an on off spout thing right here so lots of times you see these ones online where you'll have to run water through one one faucet and then you'll be able to spray but you'll still have some of that water pressure coming out of that one so this allows us to actually turn the water on set the temperature to what we want leave this one off so we don't have any water flowing take this spray what we need to turn it off and hopefully conserve water in that way that we won't we won't be running the water all the time when we're like trying to wash dishes we can use it very um, sparsely just you know if we're dry camping or something like that um, one of the uh, things that we used on this uh, these counters right here is a oh, goodness product called water locks it's uh, I was the, I'm usually most of the stuff I'm very new to doing uh, so I found it very easy to actually use um, it's just a really nice nice product that kind of just goes on and shows this sort of natural type finish that's kind of what we use we decided to keep keep the live edge on this all the uh, bumps and deformities of the natural wood if you look down with me right here uh, you'll see our washer dryer um, combo unit uh, this both washes and dries our clothes it is the one that actually vents to the outside so it's not recycling that moisture back into our, our space so hopefully that'll keep keep moisture levels down in here and I'll have to keep it just dry um, one of the things just to note about this is that we were originally planning on having our countertops go the full full length but unfortunately when we decided to relocate the washer dryer from in the back to the front we realized that we needed to raise the counter, so we decided to go with this split approach, um, which um, at least initially looks like we don't have a whole lot of counter space, but we're, we've got another solution for that problem. Uh, we're going to have a little bit of counter space right here, um, which is not very much. Up here is actually going to be where we're going to have more of our um, kitchen appliances, so we'll have our toaster oven up here and you know, maybe a coffee maker or whatever we decide to put up there. Probably have a large pull out countertop um, that just kind of comes out about here. And then we'll have like our, our, our area here to do prep food, do any sort of washing of fruits and vegetables, get them onto the stove over here, um, or cook them into the oven. This right here is our diesel cook stove so if you want to come over here and kind of see it from a different angle this is a super super simple um, uh, unit basically it is a fuel tank 
which will be sitting up on that shelf right there where we've got it kind of notched out. We've got a fuel tank up there. That is a gravity feed that comes up into this valve right here, which you turn that on and off to, like, you, know, you would use that to adjust the, um, you know, the fuel that's actually going into the burn chamber. And then what that does is there's a burn chamber that's in here. You can see there's a little bit of a window right here into that. So when we're burning, we can actually see the flame. Um, that then heats this whole thing where it heats the stove top. So we can actually do cooking on there. It heats this oven right here uh, where we can actually you know, pop pizza in or do any sort of baking. We don't really do a lot of baking. We do more a lot of uh, stove top cooking, uh, more like a, a lot of plate. Latin American food sort of things. Um, but uh, so that's available for us when we want to you know, actually do some baking. Uh, and also in here, there is, actually, let me open this up. If you want to come over here closer. You may have seen this on, on Instagram, but what we do is there's a, there's a burn chamber down in here. And we light the fire in here once we've got a little bit of fuel in there. And then your fire, your flame burns in this chamber, and there's this little water coil in here. What this will do is it'll automatically circulate the water and then bring it up to this tank up here. So if you want to show that tank right there, and you notice how the tank is raised above the burn chamber? What that'll allow us to do is this automatic thermosiphon where it... Uh, the cold water comes down to the burn chamber, gets warmed, and as that, that water warms up, it will automatically raise up in the pipe and go to the um, water heater up there. That's also a, the water heater also runs off of electric, as well as has some of these openings, I believe, here and here for a heat exchanger. So if we want to hook up any other sort of um, means to, to heat the water, such as an external solar heater or something like that. We've got other options where we'll be able to hook that stuff up. So, multiple ways that we can actually heat water. We'll leave that there. Um, coming back this direction, we've got our toilet room, which will go in right here. Um, we've already got the toilet, we're going to go with a separate, which we've already have in there. And we've got the, uh, the exhaust port kind of all cut and ready to go from the outside. We'll be mounting a kitchen sink right here. And then the plan is to cover all of this with more of the shiplap that you see on the walls. Um, we'll be doing mostly, uh, at least initially, curtains and stuff like that. Uh, just a little bit more flexible, lightweight. You're not going to pinch your fingers, not going to run into things. Um, less privacy, but we'll, we'll gauge that as we get in it and figure that part out. Behind me is the, well, uh, a shelf with a whole bunch of tools and stuff on it. Um, that will, those tools will eventually not be there, and there'll be space for uh, three bunks. Now we won't be fitting a kid into this little tiny thing. We actually did have some kids that wanted to fit into there and they actually took some pictures of themselves squeezing their, their little bodies in there. That was kind of fun. But uh, eventually when we have, um, if, if we have more kids, we'll have an ability to store, store them <laughs> one on top of the other, three high. So yeah, that'll uh, at least give us some expandability room as far as um, expanding family. Um, we are currently waiting on our tub. We built a core, and if you want to go and see that, you can see it on Instagram. We built it out of uh, marine grade plywood, uh, a base, and then uh, two layers um, to make the, the sides. That serves as our core, and right now it is at a guy's place getting um, skinned in stainless steel. So that skin will go over that and that will be the surface that then everybody sees. So it will be supported by this plywood core but it'll, it'll, be, it'll be stainless steel and look really nice and sharp. Uh, this will have at least initially a level of a 
layer of pl marine grade plywood over this, bringing it from this edge all the way to this window. Um, that marine grade plywood will be covered with a product um, called Onyx, I believe. They're um, these panels that you can get and they, they come in like different, different patterns. Some of them look like natural rock and, and granite and stuff like that. We'll be probably going with more of a subway tile look to it. Um, and then we'll just take that plywood as our template, put it down on the onyx, trace it out, cut it, and, and we'll basically glue that to the plywood once we have that. All right, back here, we're getting to some of the unfinished stuff. Right now, there is a, a big slab in our garage that I have yet to sand. That will then get sanded down. It's again, it will match the um, countertops that you saw in the kitchen. It'll come out to about here, and this will be largely a computer desk. Um, I did mention earlier, I think I did on the video, that I like to, um, I like to hunt and things like that, particularly with my dad. It's one of the things that we share together. Uh, so one of the things I do r related to that is I, I load my own ammunition, so I have a press that will be able to mount here to this desk, and it'll be a nice solid platform for making bullets and stuff like that. Um, I've got a, already an arm for a, a large monitor to go on that'll be stored along this road. We'll be able to pull it out, turn it as we want to watch movies or whatnot or as, I, as I'm working on things. Um, so this is a, this is probably the part of the project that I am the most excited about. Uh, I we've we've relocated a number of times, uh, different houses, different places, and my desk always kind of gets like moved around. This is going to be welded in place, and it's not going to be able to be moved. So I'm really excited about that. We're gonna it's going to be like the desk I have always wanted, and you know the nice thing is is that wherever we park. I'll have this excellent view just like looking out and seeing either nature or ocean or whatever you know so that's one of the things I'm really looking forward to is and kind of dream about is being able to look out and see the ocean but yeah so that's uh that's this space that I'm super excited about again we'll be able to put some storage down along the walls so down along here where we see the shop back there will probably be some storage in here underneath is a is an area that's primed to be for a uh, dog kennel down here. When we are able to kind of settle in and get a dog again, um, that's where they'll have their, their little space. Up here is the bed that we've been sleeping in. Uh, some of the nights that uh, we've, we've slept in here, we've actually had Lydia sleeping as well with us. So we've actually, it's, it's been really nice. It's actually been quite comfortable. Nice thing is, is that this thing is the, set up almost exactly for the height that that I am. I'm the taller one of the two of Natalia and I. Uh, so when I'm when I'm sitting on the bed, I got about an inch of clearance up here, which is like just absolutely perfect. So I, and I'm going from sleeping to sitting up. There's no problems with me bonking my head or anything yet. Um, it's and it's, the other thing is it's really kind of cozy up there. I know that like it looks in a lot of these tiny homes, it really looks like it would be really annoying to have a ceiling that close but it is i don't know, it gives you kind of a, a secure feeling it's it's kind of i don't know it's kind of kind of weird but uh yeah so this is where our, our bed goes um currently we've got to step up on a little bit of a rickety chair there up to get on top but um you know we'll figure out how we're gonna get up eventually with some sort of permanent ladder or whatnot um other cool things that you probably haven't seen. Well, you're seeing right now like all of the white, white uh, walls and stuff like that. These these walls are actually uh, painted with a kind of a not normal kind of paint. It's called an intumescent paint. We use a product called Insulex. Um, I could probably you know create some links to some stuff like that on Amazon or whatever. But one of the cool things about it is that uh, it's it's a fire retardant paint. So what it allow, what, what it does for us is it, well, it basically helps, it prevents uh, flame propagation. So when you take a, a flame to this, this surface right here, 
it will actually begin to char up and create this insulated barrier between the flame and the material that it's covering. Um, you can even take a blowtorch to it. It works only for a certain period of time, but hopefully by that point we've realized that we've got a fire and uh, we've either put the fire out or gotten out and away and everybody's safe. So that's kind of one of the, one of the big things I wanted to do was um, coat the walls in something that was not going to uh, allow for flames to spread easily. Uh, you can see some of our insulation up there. We're currently still need to put a piece of wood along along that section just to kind of seal it up. But that's what we decided to go with. We spray foam insulated this the uh, the whole chassis of the bus after we stripped down welding welded all the frame stuff up. Uh, yeah, and one of the other cool things which. Uh, if you look up with me, you'll see, we might have to get down and look up, but we've replaced our um, our escape hatches, our ceiling escape hatches. Uh, we've taken the regular bus ones out, which was like this gray, ugly looking thing and definitely didn't match any of the white that we were planning to do. Um, but these are, um, it's just a skylight. It, and these are actually meant to go in these hatches now. It's a new product that we were able to find. Um, and you can still open them up just like any other sort of bus hatch, get a lot of airflow. And you can unlatch them when, let's see, it's latched. You can unlatch them and actually open them up and then use a ladder in order to get up, up into the ceiling. So it's kind of one of those nice finds where we're able to buy something that was actually purposefully made for the space that we were that we're working with it it allowed me to not spend a lot of time on fabrication which is which it, it that greatly increases our ability to to get other things done thanks for joining us uh taking a look at uh, what we're currently doing with our bus uh, we still have a a lot of work to do um, we've got all of our electrical systems, all of our plumbing still to do, um, and a, a lot of the finished stuff. Uh, solar. Solar. Yep. We're, we've we've got plans for that, but we're we're holding off on things like solar and battery. Um, kind of just currently, if we were to buy those right now, they really wouldn't do much for us because we're not uh, we don't we don't need them right now. We're currently living in a house. So we're gonna we're actually waiting to purchase those as you know more of the technology becomes more refined and hopefully we can buy more as things get cheaper. Uh, but at least initially we have a, a beautiful red oak floor that we're planning on putting in. It's actually a, a floor that a friend of mine, Kendall, actually uh, a, uh, a an elk hunting uh, buddy. Uh, that we he gave us free um, just to go ahead and put in our bus it was something that he had he had gotten for pretty inexpensive but just such a blessing to us to to get something like that and it's saved us it's going to be saving us quite a bit of money uh, it's going to look amazing particularly with the counters and everything else so a great thanks to Kendall for the wood floor that we're about to put in um, that's going to be our main thing as we enter here in from fall into winter and a lot of staining's gonna, or staining and, and, and finishing of that wood's gonna happen. Um, what are some other things that we're gonna finish up? The entire bus. Yeah, hopefully. Uh, the goal is to, the goal that we're shooting for is to get it ready for spring so that we'll actually be able to move into it. Um, and that's not necessarily move into it and move away. That's more of move into it and then over the summer be able to kind of um, head out from our home base here and test some of the systems that we've put in place. That's, it's kind of a, uh, it's a stretch goal for us, I think, but, but it's, it's something that we're really shooting for. Um, and uh, we'll figure out, we'll just figure it, figure out um, what things break or what's working, what's not. And we'll just uh, address those. We'll have a, a shop, a garage that we can come back to and uh, fix anything that we need to or fabricate up some new things. So that's that's kind of our plan, at least uh, heading into winter here. 
if there's anything you guys want to see uh, videos of how we've done certain things I know I still owe some people some uh, videos of the uh, what we did with our um, what was it our tub over there uh, so we still have to post that just kind of showing you know how we constructed it and uh, just some other things so go ahead and uh, leave a comment I know this video is running long but hopefully hopefully you guys at least enjoyed um, enjoyed it um, it's just a just a big a lot of stuff to catch up on so um, you know uh, go out and, and uh, check out our Instagram uh, we usually snap photos of things that we're currently doing we post those on there uh, you can check out our website we'll be uh, when we post this online we'll post a, a web a web page update on on there as well so that's shalom-home.com and uh, you can kind of follow us from there so yeah we've also got a facebook page so check us out there um but yeah thanks for uh thanks for taking a view and uh if you if you like go ahead and subscribe um and uh we'll uh we'll hopefully uh have something else for you to post here hopefully mm -hmm. soon all right take care shalom mm -hmm.